Hi people, it's Sarkovist here, and today I'm going to be defending Black Ops 3. Now the reason I'm going to be doing this is because about two days ago I was in a position myself where I just couldn't trust reviews for Black Ops 3, and so I want to help people out here who just want an honest opinion on this game and whether it's worth getting. Now the reason I had this confusion is because when I went onto Metacritic, and yes, I do use Metacritic because I find it to be a useful way of just collating loads of different opinions, I noticed that on the user score side of things, it was at a 4.6. Now I don't always trust the user scores on Metacritic, in fact, I sometimes outright ignore them, but a 4.6 is very low, too low for me to ignore. But the critic score, again, I don't take it as gospel, but as a general indicator of quality was 84. And I wondered to myself, why this disparity? Why such a difference here? That 4.6 can't have come from nowhere. And so what I thought it might be useful for me to do, now while I don't have time to make a full review, is just to give my impressions of Black Ops 3. Now to do this, although I have played through the PlayStation 4 version. In order to get better footage, I am going to be using the PC version, just doing some generic multiplayer, actually just against bots, just to give you a feel of what the game looks like. So going in, my expectations were very low. Although, as I say, that 4.6 can't be totally relied upon, um, it couldn't have come from nowhere, at least that's what I thought. So starting off, as I always do with Call of Duty games, I went for the campaign. And I have to say there will be some minor spoilers in this because I just can't get around it without explaining what the campaign is like. So initially the campaign is fairly run of the mill. In fact, I thought it was almost too similar to Advanced Warfare in that you're very quickly mutilated and then you have to have cybernetic enhancements and you're basically a cyborg. You get some core cool abilities that allow you to sort of hack into robots and burn them up or send bee swarms at your enemies, which are totally welcome additions but it wasn't quite enough for me to be swept off my feet but by this point I'd say halfway through the campaign I was thinking to myself you know what I would definitely at least give this a seven just so far based on the campaign I, by that point I thought I think those users might have been a bit harsh but then by the time I'd completed the campaign I thought to myself have half the people reviewing this game actually played it because okay Admittedly, the gameplay itself is very reminiscent of previous games in the series, and you might say to that is, is unoriginal. Uh, in some ways, you might say consistent. So gameplay-wise, it's fairly run-of-the-mill, but the campaign itself is very interesting. It's very different from anything that's come before. I'm, to, I'm speaking thematically here in terms of the tone and what goes on. It goes to some very interesting territory, and other times you just think, is this a Call of Duty game? This has gone totally out there and it became very interesting at times and I've just had a smile on my face while playing it because it was just it was different it was genuinely different I mean it's actually a bit of a juxtaposition because although you are doing something that's very familiar just shooting bad guys over and over again in an arcade style which is very fun but very familiar what's actually happening around you is very strange and very new and very welcome Maybe not something to go as far as to say, oh, this is a total breath of fresh air into the franchise, it's amazing, but something different, something enough to justify this game existing, not just a copy and paste. I think I've said this before, Modern Warfare 3 is what started this idea of these Call of Duty campaigns being copy and paste, and maybe in terms of the gameplay I would say that is somewhat true here, but in terms of what actually happens, this is a campaign worth playing it's interesting i think that is fundamentally what i took away from this campaign it's interesting and i may even play it again just to re-experience it but if you get it yourself you may question what i've just said up until halfway because it takes a while for it to get to that stride for a while it is fairly typical call of duty michael bay-esque you know action and storyline and characters but as it gets into its more sci-fi territory, it becomes infinitely more interesting. And then there's the multiplayer. And the multiplayer, you know what? It's Call of Duty. Okay, in this, in this area, I will just say it's what you would expect. But something I will say that is quite nice 
is A, the way you move around the environment. It's more fast paced now, which is embracing what Call of Duty has always been, but just taking it further. And also, I just really like the maps. Now, that's something that's entirely subjective, so it's hard to say that they are quality maps, but in terms of how they look, especially one called, I think, Redwood, they are very nice to look at. And graphically, the game is very clean. To give you an example of what I mean in contrast, Assassin's Creed is a game that I would say that doesn't look very clean at all. Because it's so ambitious, it is often showing its seams. You see surface crawl, it's blurry because of the lower resolution, the frame rate's often very low. But Call of Duty, because it's far more concise and isn't having to render as much and is essentially less ambitious, allows itself to be far more clean. I mean, the anti-aliasing in this game is nigh on perfect. I don't see any forms of aliasing. I mean, you wouldn't expect it, but... It's just good to see such a clear presentation. Uh, although I will point out that on a PlayStation 4 version, there are some dips in the frame rate in the campaign, but nothing bad, just you know below the 60. But in multiplayer, it's a total consistent 60. So there's also the zombies. Now, admittedly, and as I say, this is not a review, so uh, I haven't delved into each section of the game, but it seems like they're going for a more narrative style to it because it begins with this interesting cutscene, but it does seem like what we come to expect of zombies. But going back to my uh, core theme of what I'm doing here, I saw a 4.6 user score on Metacritic. I, I didn't want to trust it entirely, but again, uh, you have to wonder how did it get there. You don't get that kind of score without anything. But this game, I assure you, is not a 4.6. I'm not someone who... I did used to do uh, numerical scores on my reviews, but I moved away from that because I felt that what I am saying should be enough to kind of give you an idea of what I think of a game. But if I was still to be using a numerical score, this game is far from a 4.6. Far from it. Uh, the, the critic score, as I'm seeing it, this may change by the time you look at it, of 84, I think is dead on. I mean, that is an average, but that is dead on. This game is not a perfect Call of Duty. It's not like the best in the series, nor is it the worst. Ghosts, in my opinion, still holds that title quite firmly. This is, at least from a campaign perspective, the most interesting Call of Duty. And from a multiplayer point of view, it's totally solid. There's this idea that, that people who play Call of Duty are simple, uh, have very poor taste. I, I mean, I'm not entirely sure where that's come from. But if nothing else, the multiplayer in this game is solid. It's arcade. It's an arcade shooter, and that's what you should expect. Do not think of it as a realistic, nuanced, highly coordinated shooter. No, this is a Twitch-based arcade shooter. Now, I think some people, when they hear the word Twitch-based, are immediately drawn to negative connotations, but for me, that is simply a style. For me, when people think Twitch-based is automatically bad, it's like someone saying, RPGs. Oh, RPGs, they're bad, they're bad. Twitch-based, in my opinion, should be made a genre of its own. Yes, it's not for everyone, but I actually quite like sometimes just purely having my reactions tested in a multiplayer environment, just seeing who can shoot first. It's like seeing a showdown in the Wild West. Who will be the first to fire? And sometimes that is just good. Yes, there are games where you get frustrated by the fact that the spawning can be a bit off or being shot in the back or just feeling as if you're being torn apart by young kids who admittedly are caffeined up and have an advantage of just being energetic. But this is a game that will test your reactions, will interest you on the campaign front and, well, from my limited experience with zombies, offers more of the same, but the same is not too bad because zombies is a lot of fun. And also the campaign can be done in co-op, which... I haven't done myself, but I'm sure we'll just add more fun to it. But uh, my praise for the campaign comes far more for the later sci-fi elements. Well, the sci-fi elements are throughout, but it gets a lot stronger later on. So, as always, people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.